Chicago's Millennium Park is one of the city's top tourist attractions, but now it is limiting access to those who want to share the gospel. And that includes a group of Wheaton College students who've used the park to preach and hand out evangelistic literature. Dr. Ed Stetzer, the Billy Graham Chair of Church Mission and Evangelism at Wheaton College, joins us now with more on this. Dr. Stetzer, welcome to Newswatch. Thank you, Wendy. Good to be here. Thanks for covering this important issue. Yes, absolutely. Well, give us the backstory here. How have the Wheaton students been using the park and what are they no longer able to do? So the uh, park, of course, is what we call a traditional public forum. So people often pass out flyers. Many, many of the viewers may have been to Millennium Park. It's where that bean is, we call it, with the reflective surface, and people take pictures there. And, and I've been approached there many times by vegans and Jehovah's Witnesses and political parties. Again, it's a traditional public forum. So our students on Friday night, a group of students, we have a kind of a ministry here through the Office of Christian Outreach. They go down to Chicago and they seek to share the gospel in that traditional public forum. But Chicago has come up with kind of a new way of thinking about parks. And they've decided that certain parts of Millennium Park are called rooms. And there are rooms when you can have, when you can exercise these aspects of free speech. By the way, it's not just religious speech, it's any form of speech or flyers or whatever. So there are rooms and then other parts like around the Bean are rooms where you can't exercise that free speech in the same way. So it's a rather novel approach and students uh, requested it to be changed, it did not. And then the students took action uh, through a partnership with the law firm for, uh, for change, for relief on this issue. Well, you're an evangelist and you, of course, want to share the good news. What is your concern about this new rule? Well, I think there's a couple of things. First of all, I think in general, not just for people who want to share the gospel, traditional public forums need to not be limiting speech. The ACLU, not exactly a bastion of evangelistic faith and practice, would agree and push on these realities. So our students who, we can call students, tend to be, be very, very filled with initiative and, 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 you know, just intellect and moxie. And they're saying, well, we want to push back on this for the free speech issue. But ultimately, it comes back to they'd like to be able to show and share the love of Jesus to a broken and hurting world. And there's no better place to do that. Based on all the people who come up to me at the Bean, there's no better place to do that with lots of people and then to share the faith in a non-disruptive way there at Millennium Park. So uh, you guys decided, or the students rather, and the college decided to file a lawsuit. Is that right? The students did. So the students, the college is not a party to the lawsuit, uh, but we're certainly appreciating our students for standing up on those things as well. But again, the students, again, this is one of the aspects of Wheaton College students. They tend to be the best and the brightest. They uh, they went and said, we want to we want to stand up on this issue. And we think uh, even in the press conferences and interviews, they've talked about this is free speech for everyone. But it includes the opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ to those who don't know him in public places. And again, traditional public forums. So it's interesting because you're saying that the city's not discriminating. They, they're saying, you know, no matter what your group, no matter what you're selling, so to speak, uh, you, you can only do it in certain places now. Yeah, the dis discrimination here is on the location, not the content of the speech. And so, uh, again, all, all around the world, sidewalks and public parks are traditional public forums across the United States. And so to say that you can only go to this small place, which is a very corner of the park, to exercise free speech, basically you have everyone over there talking to one another uh, when the reality is, is again, across the country, and this is a novel idea Chicago's doing, across the country, traditional public forums is where people who want to share the gospel or people who want to tell you to be vegans tend to go. Our students think that should continue. Yeah, I, I think the students have a pretty good case on their hands, and I, uh, I, I'm sure you agree. Well, uh, we'll we definitely want to keep uh, tabs on this, and we hope you'll come back and, and keep us posted. Good.